Hello. What up? Oh, Good I morning. got your hair in my face. Oh. What the hell? I don't know. I think that's a dog hair. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Good morning. Now we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? We dug this entire trench and then it poured. We'll probably have to dig some out because I feel like a little bit washed back, in, but I just wanted to come out here and assess the damage this morning. The pond looks great though. We were walking over there this morning and it's a lot clearer than I expected, especially after a whole bunch of rain and it filled a ton. And as you can tell, the girls kind of got washed out. We put them in their house when the rain started to get really heavy and they were fine because obviously the bottom's enclosed, but because there's a downhill, th this part of the house got completely washed out. So we're gonna have to do something about that. How are y'all this morning, ladies? Oof, and these stairs are muddy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Kitchen is a little bit of a mess. We had friends over and I did a lot of cooking, so let's fix it. So much better. We are working on our water lines today and that does require some physical exertion. So we're going to make breakfast this morning. We're big breakfast people, but- we don't... Oh, That's my favorite meal. But I could just... eat breakfast all day, every day, any meal, every meal. But we don't eat breakfast at like normal times that people eat breakfast. We eat breakfast at like two o'clock. That's not what time it is right now. It's early in the morning, but we have a lot to do today. So we're going to make breakfast, eat it really quick and bust out it. on these lines because so I'm the one that always cooks breakfast. Summer makes like every other meal, but breakfast is my jam. I always cook it, but I- But he doesn't want to shred potatoes because- Who wants to do that? So I'm doing it. So Summer's gonna shred me some potatoes, and then I got a big old cut on my thumb, so she's gonna make me a couple sausage patties, and then I'm gonna cook the rest of it. Fun fact, but I used to work at Steak and Shake when I was in high school, so I'm gonna be making the Steak and Shake Country Pride skillet. Not sponsored, but this is like my favorite shredder and I got it on Amazon and the reason I like it is because it has like this you can measure it and it has this compartment so I don't have to sit there and like hold it over and bowl. So I'll link it, not sponsored, but I like kitchen tool gadgets, so also when they were digging last night they found this bottle buried pretty deep, so I'm gonna wash her up and maybe put some flowers in her. There's your sausage. It's all you, boo. Let me know what you need. Uh, I think the only other thing I need is shredded cheese if you want to shred some. I got you. It's got Colby, pepper jack. Sharp. If you don't keep your cheese in some sort of like wax paper bag or some sort of like beeswax or something like that, you're doing it wrong. It saves your cheese so much, no moldy, and block cheese is just the superior cheese. I, I can't explain it. It has a different flavor than just buying pre-shredded. You never want to touch your cheese directly with your hands because the oils will also make it mold faster. I'm sure this is a lot common knowledge, but. So we're gonna start off with some hash browns. Um, you wanna make them into some little circle patties. You're not supposed to put peppers and all that in the hash browns for like the steak and shake skillet, but Summer likes it, so we're gonna go ahead and put them in there anyway. And then get you two sausage patties cooking. Now everything's finished, so we just gotta put it all together. So we start with our hash brown in the bottom, put a biscuit on top, and then a sausage patty. We're gonna top it all with gravy. I like lots of gravy. Okay. And some cheddar cheese. And then eggs. Typically, I'll do over easy eggs, but we're gonna do scrambled today. And that's how you make a steak and shake country skillet.
So they got a majority of the trench dug yesterday, except for right up by the house. So he's going to work on that and then we can start laying some pipe. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet. This is my favorite one. She's sweet. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I learned my lesson. Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head We got nothing to be scared of I'd rather be with you and that's when all that driving to Jeep off-road experience comes in handy. Good lord. Everything's dug out, now he's just getting all the loose gravel that he kicked in. Here's the next part. We need to bury the corrugated drain pipe and attach it from each side of the container. So we, we need to dig from pier to pier. So I'm gonna move everything and then start digging. And if you remember, this is where our gas lines are, so we have to dig this all by hand, not with the tractor. So let's get to it. And heavy metal seem to be the only thing that was for me. And I saw the angels coming down, and they sang a song and sang you loud. We do not have to bury the corrugated drain pipe down very deep because it's not going to really freeze. However, we do have to bury the water line because that will freeze. Line below the frost line and then we're putting about I'd say two to three inches of dirt and packing that down on top then we'll put our drain line and back fill completely. gonna trim the end of the pipe and then it'll stick out the end of the hill right here we'll be able to fill up the pond that's about it now we're gonna add in our T connection Way in the back here, there it is. I can't wait until my kitchen is a kitchen and not tool storage. Also, when these cabinets are on bases, that will be a very exciting day. I'm sure there's probably a proper way to do this. That's the way I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna put some duct tape around the seals right here just to uh, prevent dirt from being able to seep into the pipes and fill the pipes with dirt. Already packing, come with me. 
I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for So this is the old water line and he's going to attach the new water line. I'll be posting a day in the life after this one and so we talked about it in that video but we haven't talked about it in this video. The reason that we're running other water lines is because we ran our first water line. Number one it wasn't Pexe and number two we didn't know where the house was going to be placed at at the time. We were just kind of shooting in the dark as to where the water line needed to be placed. Also in the beginning, we added a few other lines to it and so it had gotten cut multiple times and we were getting air in the line. So we just want one continuous line from the pond to the house with no other add-ons or anything like that so we can get a clean connection. So by upgrading this project, we can bury our lines deeper, we can add the drainage from the gutters to the pond, and we can transfer it from regular PEX to PEX A so that way it's more durable. anything like the three quarters is going to be fun. Okay, I lied. We're going to be adding one extension on the pond. So it's not gonna be one continuous line, just one extension. But this is all gonna be in the water. So right now he's gonna add on an extension and then he's gonna hop in his boat and go and attach. If you don't know, Cody made that boat in high school woodshop class and he's 27, so it's been around a while. I would film him but it's raining and we have a ton of stuff that needs to be put away. So he extended the line to the middle of the pond. This will help brush and mud and dirt that's immediately washed in keep from clogging up the pump which will also help keep our water a little bit more clean. I cut the hose back off because I forgot to fill it up with water and purge all the air out before I hooked it up to the pump. Um, doing this will save me probably two hours of trying to get air out of the pump and get this line full of water, so it just makes it a little easier. All right, so I got all the air bubbles out of the pump. And now we're making pressure. Okay, <coughs> it's raining and it's cold, so we're not gonna backfill tonight, so. I'm freaking exhausted. Yeah, My and we're hurts. hungry and we're tired. And it's already 7 o'clock. And we still have to go into town. Yeah, the day got away. I'm a little grumpy. I'm glad we got it done, though. I know, it does. I'm... I know, I'm really happy that we got it done. It looks good. It's gonna be good. We're gonna have so much more water now. Yeah, I'm really excited about being able to get that drain done, too. I'm not concerned... Sorry, I'm, like, looking at it. Um, I'm not concerned about freezing anymore. 
but yeah. Yeah, which I'm sure you probably could notice through the video, the water line was kind of just laying on top of the water. That's because it was still full of air at the time. Um, and then the middle of it kind of does float a little bit because it's plastic. So I'm probably gonna go out there and anchor it down a little bit. Um, that way we can keep it under at least a foot of water. Um, the most I've ever seen it freeze here is like maybe four or five inches of uh, of ice on, on top of the pond. So yeah. as long as we can get it lower than a foot of water on top, I don't think we'll have any issues, but probably trying to get a little bit lower than that. Yep. So we will probably see y'all tomorrow because... This is kind of what, what happens do. now. Okay, bye. Bye. That we only get one life I wanna make